Scotty's in a foot race with Gilliam. Can he beat him? Tip dunk by yeah. Bill Wennington again. Born in Montreal, Quebec, Big Bill Wennington didn't touch a basketball until the age of 11. And that was only after he moved to Suffolk County, Long Island. But Bill picked up the game pretty quickly, and he led Long Island Lutheran to two state championships, which caught the eye of Coach Lou Cardaseca. Bill scored over 1,000 career points and grabbed nearly 650 rebounds with St. John's and helped lead them to the Final Four as a senior back in 1985. In the NBA draft, Bill was selected 16th overall by the Mavericks. He got to the playoffs four times in five years with Dallas before trade sent them to Sacramento back in 1990. But as the season ended, Bill's NBA options were somehow limited. Bill spent two years in Italy, and he won an Italian League championship in 1993. But that pales in comparison to what was in store for him when he got back to the States. Pippen gets it to BJ. Over to Bill Wennington for the slam. Beautiful work all the way around that time. BJ. Bill returned to the NBA for the 93-94 season with the Chicago Bulls. His initial contract only guaranteed one month on the That's roster, the but a solid play and outside jump shot earned him a spot on the team. He set new career highs in points and rebounds and helped Scottie Pippen lead the team to 55 wins. Michael Jordan returned the following year, and a dynasty began brewing once again in Chicago. In the infamous double nickel game against the Knicks back in 95, Jordan set Big Bill up with a last-second flush to win the game. In 95-96, Chicago won 72 games, breaking the record for most wins in a season. It was also year one of a Bulls three-peat as Chicago defeated the Supersonics for its first NBA championship since 1993. The next year, the Bulls took down the Jazz in six, and it was deja vu all over again in 97-98 as Chicago took down Malone and Stockton six games to win yet again. From shooting hoops in Italy to winning rings in Chicago, Bill Wennington was now a three-time NBA champion. Bill never gave up and became part of one of the greatest teams in sports history. Bill retired in 2000 after 13 years in the NBA. He's in his 13th season as the Bulls radio color commentator. Bill also represents the team at various charity functions. He's most remembered by his former teammates for his sense of humor and always having their backs.